Hey everyone, Ivy League Gaming here, and today we're talking about Wuthering Waves. We might get to play it sooner than expected. I was super excited to see on Twitter today a post about the closed beta for Wuthering Waves, guys. Woohoo! You know, on this channel, I've been trying to bring you a bit more of a variety of games, not just playing one game as my main focus. Even though it's possible Honkai Star Rail might become a main focus for the channel, I'm still trying to keep it open to playing other games and also sharing new games with my audience as you might have similar interests based on the last game I used to play, if you like Raid Shadow Legends, there might be some other fantasy games, or if you're vibing with the anime games, well, we have lots of fun stuff like this coming. But before we get to talking about Wuthering Waves and this closed beta coming, I'm actually going to show you guys another amazing game that I've just started playing. So if you were a Raid Shadow Legends player, this game might be for you. Today's video is sponsored by Bloodline Heroes of Lethos. Now this game I've had my eye on for quite a while and I'm finally checking it out. It has one of the most unique game mechanics I've probably ever seen in all the games I've played. You'll even get an amazing starter pack if you use my link in the description or the QR code, so go check it out. If you like that dark fantasy graphic vibe, this game might be for you. It's a hero collector fantasy RPG. Even the different genders provide you with unique abilities. A new bloodline every fortnight. You can build your kingdom by summoning characters as well as actually breeding them. This game has a super unique feature where you actually can create hybrids. By strategically marrying and breeding your champions with each other, you create powerful hybrids to use in battle and progress through the game. For example, there are so many customizable bloodlines like elves, demons, demigods, orcs, dwarves, lichens, dragonborn, vampires, and more. You can generate over 1,000 fantasy hybrids, endless possibilities and lineups. It's just such a unique style and adds so much strategy to the game. And those hybrids, well, they not only inherit the talents and traits of their parents, but they can even inherit their unique appearance. So you can try to fuse something unique to what your style of gameplay is desiring. What really caught my eye was the graphics of this game. I really do think they have a unique style with a vast array of hybrids to create and it's a realistic fantasy world. There's even very rewarding late game PvP content for those of you that love to be competitive. All players can earn points by battling in the seasonal guild wars. And you can even obtain uniquely designed hybrid champions. Bloodcraft Legends. Now, what fantasy game isn't complete without a little bit of a waifu vibe, am I right? These gorgeous companions you can actually raise heirs with, and you can even switch their genders freely to fit your desires. Between the bloodlines and the hybrids, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Be sure to check out the game now, download the game via the link, or QR code showing on the screen, and again, you'll get this amazing starter pack when you sign up. Also, guys, I have something special for you. The first 30 players who leave their in-game account ID and username in the first pinned comment section below will receive a free legendary female orc champion, one of the best warriors to carry you in the game. Join me in checking out such a wonderful, creative game. And thanks again to Bloodline Heroes of Lethos for sponsoring today's video. So, back to the anime vibe, although, don't get me wrong, I'm still loving that fantasy vibe. <laughs> but, back to the anime vibe, if you're a fan of Genshin Impact, 
Honkai Star Rail, or maybe even like Keegan and some of these other wonderful uh, anime gachas coming out. This one should have your interest as well. You absolutely want to see the options. There's so many amazing games coming out this year. And this game here is one that I had my eye on the second I saw some gameplay. So it is, it says there, it is an open world action RPG. Now this is not a turn-based game, so maybe people that prefer games like Genshin Impact might prefer that a little bit more uh, versus Honkai Star Rail. If, you, if you're not feeling Honkai Star Rail because you really like the live action fights and the turn-based is not your thing, for real, this, this looks cool. So I'm gonna actually play a little bit of footage and we're gonna take a look at the details for the closed beta. But first I do have to say I'm bummed by the date because it's April 24th. You guys know Honkai Star Rail is going global on, well, we don't know for sure yet. We are speculating <laughs> based on some things that Honkai Star Rail is going global April 26th. And then what happens personally I'm going to the UK on like April 29th or something. So I'm going to have a busy week or two, aren't I? <laughs> if I can get into this closed beta, we're going to be busy, but it's totally going to be worth it. Hopefully it's a long enough period to where missing about a week isn't going to be a big deal. Anyway, let me show you some gameplay so we can take a look at this and you can get a feel for it and see if it interests you before we get into more details. All right. Really cool vibe, right? I love it. It's got such an interesting color palette too. Although I'm not sure if that's before or after they did some adjustments. They actually adjusted some characters and added more color to things, which I don't think they need to do. I think it's unique to have like a muted tone. So we'll see how the final product looks, or at least the beta looks, hopefully soon. But let's take a look at the beta trailer. This is the, it's funny, the day before this, they posted a little quick, like 10, 15 second, I think it was, uh, closed beta teaser. So with the closed beta teaser being posted yesterday, you didn't assume that the next day they were actually going to announce the closed beta for real. So that was, that was kind of interesting. I didn't expect to see it so soon. Let's take a look. All right, so we're here. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is this game appealing to you? Um, what What are you thinking? I have so many fun games we're playing and well, or at least we've tried, we'll try to play 
or just have my interests. So we're gonna have to narrow them down and see what we like best, right? At the end of the day, we can't play them all. Um, all right, so let's see. Wuthering Waves closed beta test recruitment begins and there's a closed beta test FAQ. So you can pre-register here, but let's take a look at the link and we're gonna quickly go over the information. So the recruitment started late yesterday. <laughs> uh, 24th of April is the closed beta star access and it is PC, Android and iOS. And let's see here, let's keep reading. You can join the survey by clicking the link below. We'll randomly pick out rovers for from the submitted surveys and send qualification notifications through email. Survey can be submitted only once. Please make sure you fill in the information correctly. Don't be me and put the wrong account information for Honkai Star Rail. That was a little bit of a mess. <laughs> and then qualification notification. Qualification notifications will be through email afterward. You can check the official notice. Portal to the survey, link to the survey here. Issues. All of the in-game content of this test is under development and does not represent the final quality. Qualification will only be for this closed beta test. All of your in-game data will reset. To ensure qualification acquisition, please make sure you submit the survey with all the correct information. Due to IP limitation and localization progress, this test will only be available for testers in the United States and Canada. We appreciate your understanding. Qualified rover of iOS platform will get iOS TF downloading links through email. Any account and client sharing or trading will be in forbidden. You'll be unqualified and your account will be banned once detected with such behaviors. Please take care of your personal account information and your property to avoid unnecessary losses. So this beta is only for the US and Canada, but VPNs exist, right? So I'm still going to apply. I'll be like, I'm a US citizen living in Romania, content creator with a 90 freaking percent base audience of the United States is a VPN use okay. I'm sure go I'm going to try to apply for this program and see if I can get in. Uh, it looks like we have another FAQ link. So let's see if we have any other questions here we can answer. When will it end? The recruitment will end April 14th. So we only have until April 14th to apply for beta. So if you're interested in this game and you want to get in on the beta to try it out ahead of time, make sure you do that soon. Can I play in another advice during closed beta? No. Each tester can only have one device on both, well, okay, each tester can have only one device on both PC and mobile platforms for the test. Your data will be the same on both platforms as well. The device will be bound once you log in during the closed beta. You cannot change the device at the same platform. If you change the device during the test, your account will be banned until the end of the test duration. Meanwhile, performing system reinstall upgrades and hardwares will also result in login failure. So if I'm gonna revert my computer back to, well, not back, I got a new PC and it's Windows 11 and it's absolutely terrible for compatibility on literally every freaking program I use, I swear to God. Um, I want to I want to do the rollback to Windows 10. I better do that before I do something like this. But I think I'll wait until after my Honkai Star Rail beta in case that causes any issues there. I didn't even think of that. But it does say you can only have one device on both PC and mobile. But then it says you can only get approved for one of the things. So that doesn't make sense. But I think they just mean either way, whether you're on PC or whether you're on mobile, whichever beta test device you get approved for, uh, you can only use one, period. Can I live stream, screenshot, and record any content during the closed beta and publish on social media? That's what I need to know, right? Yes, you can. However, do know in all content of this that it's closed beta, including art designs, audio, context, characters, are still under development and they don't represent the final quality of the game. How do we submit feedback for the recruitment and the test? You can contact customer service and their official email, blah, blah, blah. And then there's all the official links. So I'm going to make sure I get into this official discord 
We need to go to Discord. We launched. <laughs> so it looks like they, they're doing pretty good interest-wise. On their official Discord, they have 29,000 members already. That's not bad for a game that I think is... I think this is its first closed beta. Alright guys, I think that kind of wraps up today's video. I just wanted to show you guys that this game is coming sooner rather than later. Sooner than we expected. And if you're someone who has been interested in all the games I've been posting on this channel, this one might be for you. Again, maybe you like the little bit more moody vibe versus the cutesy vibe of the anime games like Eversoul. Maybe you like the live action RPG versus turn-based battle system instead of that of Honkai Star Rail. Or, well, let's not forget, I have an amazing sponsor for today's video in Bloodline. Heroes of Lethos might be for you as well because you might be on this channel if you're coming from Raid Shadow Legends, right? If you're looking for a raid replacement, because let's be honest, we most of us were. And I keep getting that question constantly um, <laughs> about people not liking the anime games, but they want to see something else. Well, that game might be for you. So stay tuned. I'm going to have another proper video posted as well. Stay tuned very soon. I'll have a more detailed, amazing first impression guide really breaking down uh, a lot of the details and what I'm thinking about bloodlines so thanks again for today's sponsor and thanks again for you guys watching today's video i am very curious about this game as well so it's kind of fun to have a variety of things right if i play bloodline i'll have the fantasy vibe this will be the fun anime vibe i don't know i'm just i'm very curious uh and then it's great to have some it's great to check out different games guys so hope you're enjoying the content i'm posting here i'm looking forward to playing all of these wonderful games, or at least giving them a try. I hope you are too, and I'll see you in the next video.